Hello everyone and welcome back to my by now regular rant slash talks. Um, it's the last week before The Witcher drops and in my case it's begun in a big fucking way. Uh, last night I couldn't sleep a single second but that's okay because I watched Man of Steel and the Justice League and the beginning of Rogue Nation and um, two comedy specials, Humanity by Ricky Gervais and um, the latest by Michelle Wolf. Uh, I, I know what it's called, it's just not coming now. Um, at any rate, I went to work still feeling like 10,000 volts. Um, and there I ran up and down the halls like a mad cow and I managed to pull a muscle in my calf. Which is not surprising because I was definitely not wearing adequate shoes for running. I was wearing rangers. And, you know, if you're wearing rangers, you look like a penguin when you run. Um, I have no idea what to expect. It's been such a long wait and I keep seeing people talking and taking bets over who's going to be naked and how much and stuff like that, which is kind of depressing for me because um, I, I, I like very hot people and good looking actors, um, like the next person, but I don't really find it necessary to have to see them naked like just because game of thrones was tits and death or tits and dragons like, that's not a good thing i could have done with no tits and more swords for instance you can't go wrong right? everybody loves swords and not everybody loves tits um yeah <laughs> well there's a minority of people who don't like tits i guess um I, I don't even know. Why Why am I still so hyper? It, it's going and I feel like the fucking Duracell bunny. I know that I've had one dose of sneak in the last 36 hours and it's like somebody has plugged me into a socket and forgot to unplug me even though I'm charged to over 100% now. Um, so as I was saying, I don't know what to expect and I don't like the fact that no matter how much I shelter myself from seeing people speculating about how it's going to be, I still get exposed to it and I still have to deal with people and making silly assumptions and um, I'm... <clears throat> I know that everybody is looking forward to the nudity on the show, specifically Henry Cavill's nudity, which... I guess, I don't know, I feel embarrassed because, you know, I <laughs> think of him as a massive teddy bear and I I used to strip my Barbies when I was little, but my teddy bears and stuffed cats uh, stayed closed. You know, some toys are not meant to be mistreated. Um, <laughs> why am I comparing Henry to a toy? Uh, oh yeah, be because he's super cute. Um, <laughs> you can't help it, especially because uh, now he has Cal with him and they're such a fluffy duo. Oh, and by the way, last night I stumbled upon a video by some personal trainer, bodybuilder, fitness model dude who analysed Henry's workout for The Witcher. And determined that, um, of course, he didn't take any performance enhancing substances. Something which a lot of people love to assume. But even though I'm not from the industry, I can tell it's not the case. One, because H Henry is a very hardworking person. Uh, two, because when you take those substances, your muscles have a certain contour, a certain look to them that Henry doesn't show in his um, form and I don't know people would rather think that you're cheating the system than uh, l deal with the discomfort of knowing that you've put in the work and that if they want to be like you they will have to put in the work as well 
because guess what not everybody uh, loves hard work people love results but they don't like hard work speaking of this um, I have tasted the most incredible Christmas cookies from my housemate's mum and I would of course like some more uh, and my problem was that because I told my house my housemate uh, is there a possibility for me to get more cookies and she said well yes ask my mum for the recipe and inside I was seething because I was thinking I want to eat I don't want to bake <laughs> Such are my problems these days. And um, on the inside, while we were having that conversation, I was genuinely the surprised Pikachu face. I, Can't you understand my dilemma? Don't you feel my pain? I, the whole idea of eating cookies is that they're made by somebody else and you didn't have to slave and toil over them. Ah, uh, God. Why did I spring from bodybuilding to cookies? That's not right. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so there was this video with this guy who concluded that um, not only did Henry look incredible, he, he was fanboying at some point in the video, um, but it was also like established that um, Dave Rienzi did the right thing and uh, showed him the right exercises to like put into action to get and to get big and bigger than he was before because uh, this guy pointed out something like people people think that Henry went from like <laughs> a lazy house cat to looking ripped as fuck as Geralt um, but it's it's not like that he's been cultivating his muscles and he, he's been um, looking after his body and developing his uh, fitness routine since Immortals, I think. Um, he's had different looks along the way, but he's been getting increasingly bigger. Like In Immortals, he was very lean and uh, very defined muscle-wise, um, but then he started getting bigger and it, it seems to me that he has an easier time than others to to maintain that sort of size which is definitely not a bad thing um, my favorite look of Henry's was of course and that's not a secret for anyone who knows me uh, was August Walker and I was talking to a friend today and I was telling them how much I would love if somehow August made a return in the Mission Impossible uh, franchise. Hey, I know that he died a very definitive death, but it's Mission Impossible. Everything is uh, doable, especially since they have those masks and um, even the characters say it's grown men playing Halloween. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to be able to sleep this evening but by the way it's looking I think I'm finally starting to wind down um what I what I really wish was that I could just quiet my mind when I go to bed and not have it on the contrary race like a motherfucker because it seems as though that's when I have the most quiet peace and uh, opportunity to focus like right before I go to bed and fall asleep which is not good and I would really love to pick up yoga again but I'm so restless right now that I, I just can't be on the mat I can't I've tried but I can't um yeah uh anyway it's been a very full uh, 24 hours lately especially with the many movies and comedy specials that I watched last night and plus that video from the bodybuilding guy um, I personally would really like it if people stopped like concentrating on um, what Henry eats and how he diets and how he works out and um, 
at least for a while, because you guys have had your run, you've had your chances to ask the questions and to have the talk at length with Henry. Um, but now it's kind of the time to focus on Geralt and to focus on the acting, because I I really I don't like thinking about this, but I know that there are people who who are hoping that The Witcher will fail, that um, it won't turn out to be good. I know it's not going to be the case, but those people are waiting to just hop on their soapboxes and shout, well, of course it failed. Henry Cavill can only work out and he can't act and the regular bullshit. Um, And I, on the other side, um, eagerly rubbing my little hands together like a raccoon, uh, awaiting the moment when all the haters and all the dissers will have to disappear into the darkness and never come out. Because it's going to be epic. The Witcher, I mean. The Witcher is going to be epic and um, it's going to uh, make a lot of people um, into stands. Like, I don't have to make a prediction, you'll see, this is what will happen. I, I of course, have other sources of stress that are not related to The Witcher, but those aren't as big or I don't feel them as big or, or, or yet as big enough. Um, but it's coming and I can just feel them around the corner just waiting to fuck me up, which is why... I think I have difficulty sleeping lately, but um, I'm finally going to wind down because it's getting very disappointing to just uh, sit here on my nice lounge without Christmas cookies. Like it's downright sad. Thank you for listening to my rant, and uh, if anyone knows a way for me to calm down like naturally without uh, having to take like half a kilo of of valerian or something like please let me know thank you bye